questions. All right, what's going on, guys? It is your boy TKD123 here back in Play Source. And before we get into anything, yes, this is going to be my Kana Bridge of Spirits first impressions video. Before we get to what I'm about to say, before we get to the main impressions, what am I doing? Is that, uh, of course, this code was provided by Ember Labs for me to review Kana Bridge of Spirits and make content on it. I got it, you know, honestly, like half an hour earlier than when the game launched and everything. So I pretty much got it at the same time as you all did with the public. But just to make sure you all are aware, I I did not pay for this copy huge shots ember labs for that and uh, definitely if you want to take my opinions with a grain of salt favor to do so because i was provided the code to review this game for you guys here on playstation source but going into what i want to say before we get into the impressions is that i know this week you know what i'm saying it was a little bit light on streams a little bit light on videos i know we just did one kana streaming everything and i was going to do a full stream series on kana but you know due to just right now i'm extremely busy with stuff like with my family and they're moving out of their childhood house and everything and i've been helping out with that and uh, just a lot of games on my plate right now i just kind of want to just take a little bit of a step back this week and just play some games to make content on later on this upcoming week so my apologies i really do pride myself in having a really high work ethic and making sure you guys have content throughout the week i just you know just need to just kind of just step back a little bit play some games you know i just need to chill out for a little bit and uh, we'll kick it up to top gear very very shortly with streams and videos and all that good stuff so apologies on that guys Didn't means to leave you all hanging this week but let's talk about kana bridge of spirits of course i'm playing it on playstation 5 it is available on ps4 as well it is going to be a 40 dollars game at launch so a pretty you know uh you know low cost game overall for a new release not 70 dollars not anything like that and overall i am really enjoying the game so far i gotta be honest though okay the first stream that we did of kana right i wasn't really feeling it that much like i thought it was pretty good but like i wasn't really wowed or impressed really that much going into my you know future play sessions this week i definitely am feeling this game a lot more than i did in my first two hours on stream and so i'm probably around like four and a half hours or so into the game give or take um maybe a little bit less than that honestly maybe only three hours but i've just gone through my first main boss fight which we will talk about later on in the video but starting off here i will say that the one thing that i think a lot of people are going to feel from this game when they first get their hands on it is that the game is mad easy on normal okay Okay, maybe it's because, you know, they want to be a little bit more handholdy than usual with games. And uh, maybe, you know, I'm just very experienced in a lot of different other games of this genre and all that. Uh, but I felt like it was a little bit too easy on normal where it just made it kind of boring in terms of combat. So I definitely bumped up the difficulty. I'm playing on Spirit Guide, which is, I guess, the medium mode that you can say. And uh, that one is definitely uh, giving me a lot more of a challenge. And I definitely am enjoying that mode overall. So if you're feeling like the game is too easy, I would bump up that difficulty you might as well do it you know what i'm saying and the visuals overall are really great in my opinion i think they're super good uh for me it's the colors you know what i'm saying i love a nice vibrant punchy saturated look i know a lot of people don't like that i personally do i love bright vibrant punchy colors saturated colors and this game has plenty of that to love with the green and the blues and the you know and the reds of the enemies and all that great stuff right so definitely colorful game um but there are of course you know little small visual you know uh issues with the game and everything where when you're in a meditation sequence, Kana's hair kind of clips through her skin when it doesn't in like the more rendered cutscenes because of course Ember Labs is an animation studio and they're more, you know, used to doing animation as opposed to, I guess, in-game cutscenes and everything. So that one, you know, not the biggest deal in the world, but you know, just, just you know, something to, uh, something to say overall in the impressions that I noticed in my first few hours with the game. The art style, I think, is perfect for this game. It is literally a Pixar movie and I mean that. You know, I know we say that a lot about Ratchet and Clank and like, you know, I will say that definitely Ratchet and Clank, I think visually from a like a from like a fidelity standpoint, it definitely looks more impressive than this game. This game is not that far behind, okay? Like I, I think this game looks great in its own distinct way that I really like. And they double down on it, you know, left and right in every corner, every nook and cranny of the entire play space that I played so far. It definitely has a nice Pixar quality to it. I definitely like it overall. Now the rots in this game, you know, they're they're you know your your uh, little homies, your little companions, you know what I'm saying? You put hats on them um i really want to have this specific rot that i found on twitter from uh, broken games hd he put up here with the uh you know yankee cap 
and the Tims and everything. I hope that we can get that DLC coming up for Kana. Probably not, but hey, I would love to see it come to the game. But besides all that, they are adorable. They're really helpful and everything. And, um, you know, at first, like, the way they were kind of describing it, I thought they weren't going to go, like, that in-depth on how you use them in the environment, but they're actually really helpful, and they are utilized in a lot of very smart ways that I'm actually really, really impressed with. So, shout out to the Rot. Really like them. The only thing as well, again, another minor gripe. I got to just, you know, say it out because it's my impressions, right? A minor gripe is that I wish you can skip that little cutscene that happens when you find a new Rot in the environment. Granted, it's not a big deal. It's, like, three seconds long. I'm just being impatient, Loki. I just wanted to kind of just skip over that and just keep it going because when you beat a boss or you beat like a big you know like mini boss encounter uh the rot that you get during that boss battle just automatically just come into your inventory of rot so there's no cutscene there so i kind of wish it was the same thing here like it was cool in the beginning and everything but you know at least the option to skip it would be kind of nice but uh again not a big deal it's three seconds it's really not a big deal so i know i said during the first stream that when i had the game on story mode the game's like normal easy mode type deal um i did find the game kind of like boring in terms of combat and everything and even when i stepped it up to that spirit guide difficulty i still kind of felt during that first stream that it wasn't really that in depth and everything but really once you get into the meat of the game and everything and once you're really on your way to different objectives in canada bridge of spirits the combat becomes really fun and really great you know what i'm saying like i just played the first big boss fight literally maybe like an hour ago before i recorded this and uh that was mad fun you know what i'm saying like it was challenging there was really cool moves that they had you dodge and everything and i really really liked it you know what i'm saying and like I, and like i also like how you know i'm not sure if it's different in story mode i assume it is but you know i've only been given like two or three different plants that you can use one of your rot abilities for and attach the rot to this plant to give you health right there's only like a few of them uh in the boss encounter so i like how you really don't have a massive crutch to lean on in terms of health regen in a boss battle and i really really enjoy that about the game so far in terms of boss battles alone right but uh, i was feeling like you know the combat was a little bit light early on but you know once again like i said before get a few more hours to the game and by a few hours not like a crazy amount like you know two three four hours in you're gonna start loving the combat i find it a joy i'm really liking hitting the weak points i'm liking using the slow motion with my bow and arrow and everything i'm really liking how the rock can distract enemies where i can lay down some really cool melee attacks on them i'm really enjoying it the one thing though i'm really trying to get better at in this game is the parrying i set this on drill kicks games cast this week which by the way youtube.com says joy clicks definitely check out that but i felt like the parrying timing is kind of weird in this game man like i don't know what it is i don't know if it's like the animation that she does or maybe just i think purely what it is honestly it's just like the timing is just very specific and it's not at times that you think that you would want to parry it's really cutting it close like 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 he really has to almost hit you to get a successful parry off and so it's very very awkward in that vein but i've been getting better at it as i play more and more but i do still feel like you know the parrying timing is kind of weird in this game overall now i will say that the game has a great sense of exploration i feel like there's always something to find in a given environment whether it be more currency to buy more hats for your rot a meditation area to boost your health permanently as well or to find more rot in the overall landscape as well like there's a ton of really cool things to find Mind. and one of the things that i'm really enjoying about this game is that you know when you have a 3d platformer right like you know think about crash think about you know mario right like you're always destroying something to get something right like you're always destroying a box you're destroying a pot and everything but in this game a lot of this game is about healing the actual forest and healing this area that has been tormented by spirits that have not learned how to move on and you know are like holding them to this realm right so what you have to do in this game is that you have to sometimes you know pick up a statue and you know have it oriented where it's supposed to be right or you know when you find a vase or a jar in the overall gameplay space you know you don't crush it you don't smash it to get its you know benefits of currency you just tell the rot to shake it a little bit and the currency comes to you like a lot about this game and you do get rewarded for this like you do get currency for you know standing up different statues in the environment and i really like that little bit where they could have just done the usual third person platformer thing and just have you smash everything to get currency but the way that they also melded in where you know kana is a 
spirit healer. She's a spirit guide. She's healing. That's her thing. And that also translates to how they take certain elements in the gameplay space and reward you for healing those things. I think it's a super cool touch. I really like that. I don't think a lot of people are talking about that, but I just think that was super prominent, at least when I was playing it. Really enjoyed that part as well. A big one for me that I'm getting a little bit annoyed at, you know, more and more. Again, not a huge thing, not like a game breaking thing, but a little thing, right? Is that when you have the map, right? You can't put a waypoint down. So the map will tell you where you're supposed to be next, but the problem is that you're checking the map constantly to make sure that you're going the right way. And I wish that you could just put down a waypoint, you know what I'm saying? That's a kind of like a modern thing that I think is one of the aspects that makes this game feel like an old school PS2 game in a lot of ways in terms of design. Uh, that's one of the things that I think really, really does uh, lend itself to having that opinion with a lot of people is that there are just little things in this game that I wish they kind of just, you know, I wish they kind of just did, right? One of the things like having a waypoint on the map, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Also, another thing too that I've been noticing, you know, in spite of all the good in this game is that there are some other movements that you control in the game that are not Kana that definitely feel kind of shaky and janky and kind of just feel like, you know, not really that polished, right? One of them is that there's this thing that you can do in the environment where you shoot three targets and this like water orb, you know, comes uh, out of the last target, right? So you put this orb onto a root of a plant around the area and it will give the rot the ability to kind of use the water to meld and bend into this big monster that you control with your right stick while controlling Kana with your left stick and you're supposed to guide the rot monster to a specific you know environmental destructible thing that you're supposed to either destroy to get through to the next region or to uh, clean off a statue with this like you know red gunk that's on it right when you're actually moving the rot monster sometimes it feels kind of like jittery and janky and I feel like the camera is shaking in a weird way like it just doesn't feel like that polished right like that is an example another one is when Kana is sliding down a ramp that just has never felt great to me in the game because you can control Kana a little bit during that phase but it just doesn't feel that great those are two things that I definitely have been noticing more and more as I play the game so I definitely want to just have that there in the impression as well but um, overall you know let's end end off here with probably my biggest highlight so far the first boss fight it's with taro i'm not gonna spoil anything but oh man that boss fight was fire okay i definitely enjoyed that boss fight in terms of his move set and how you're able to really discern what he's about to do and everything and once again like i said before the fact that you only get two healing plants in this it really does raise the stakes really makes it super challenging and i really really enjoyed it there's a lot of really cool things where you know they have specific clothing on them at least with this boss fight that you know you're supposed to shoot to trigger different certain stagger states to be able to do damage on him it's a really great boss fight really liked it and the end cutscene of that whole thing like really does you know flex that ember labs is at heart an animation studio and they were able to make a i would say pretty good game so far so overall i'm really enjoying it guys if you guys are on the fence about it i think you should check it out i think it's worth your time honestly if you have a ps5 or even a ps4 you know what i'm saying i haven't heard people um complain that much about the ps4 version and how it's running so maybe it runs great but down below guys if you've been playing the game what are your thoughts do you like it do you hate it what do you wish was changed in this are you about to you know buy the game pretty soon what are your thoughts let me know down below in that comment section and as you are down there make sure to not forget the description you can find links to our discord our twitter and our anchor link that way you can enjoy our long form content and podcast format like of course the row 2 series row 2 forbidden west coming up very shortly guys definitely don't sleep on that it's gonna be a good one and yeah like the video if you enjoyed it as well stay subscribed to playstation source to keep up with the latest and greatest and all things can the bridge of spirits and of course playstation as well thank you all for watching and as always greatness awaits